move behind the camera today. Uh, Gloff Brothers here with uh, Calvin from Locust Tactical. Howdy, guys. Uh, we're here in his uh, private shop area. Yep. Uh, he's got a hundred plus employees that you know kind of bug him, and he's got to have his own private area to to work with. But uh, he's a custom holster maker, based right out of here in Utah. Yep. Uh, does Kydex, does the leather and stuff like that. And uh, Calvin, tell us a little bit more about how you got started. Well, I, uh, I got started in holsters um, just probably around the beginning of this year. I was buying a few holsters here and there from other people and I would always put night sights on or put uh, a laser or some sort of light on it. And then my holster wouldn't work anymore. Yeah. And then you couldn't find a custom holster that wasn't ridiculously priced, you know, or, or with a, a million year weight. So I started just doing it on my own. I started off with like a, a leather holster that I customized to fit a laser. And then I had some, uh, some style of crossbreed that I remolded the Kydex. And then I thought, man, I, I want to get into this. So I started looking into it. YouTube, looking at other people on YouTube, and uh, um, just started molding my own, just trying different different formulas out, and just perfecting as I go along, and that's that's you know how how it kind of started. And then I got on Facebook, which I never was a Facebooker until I started this, and it's an awesome form of social, social media is killer when when during the business. And one thing that I've always kind of found interesting. Uh, with a lot of holster makers that I've come across that you do uniquely different. Uh, the one thing that I thought was funny is you're waiting like six months, three months, sometimes four months for something like uh, Raven concealment or Bravo concealment and you've actually got a pretty fast turnaround on your time. Yeah, I, Which is, I mean Dan from the Daily Prep throws you out there, hey Dan, how you doing? I know you watch Glock Brothers stuff. <laughs> uh, talks about that. Can you explain a little bit more how you do that? I mean, well, at a custom level? Yeah, once once I get an order, um, I try, I grew up, first of all, you know, doing siding and stuff like that. So I worked with vinyl and plastics my whole life. And then my second most important job was a uh, customer satisfaction company. I was managed uh, uh, sales force there. So I understand what customer satisfaction about is about and waiting four months for a product you really want is probably not, you know, it, even though you're really wanting it, but nobody wants to wait four months, but um, I, uh, <laughs> it's all right, okay. we, we can have your pauses and some of that. Okay, what was I saying? But uh, like one thing that's, it really struck me when we struck up a, a conversation talking on the phone, you made mention about how, uh, customer service. I, I made mention about how it's a lost art to people uh, that you know they really don't understand the customer is always right even when the customer is wrong and taking care of the customer. Yeah. I mean that's why people do repeat business that's you know better word of mouth for you rather than getting yeah. worse. <laughs> and along, my, along those lines what I was trying to say and I forgot was I, I walk everybody through the process. Okay. I, uh, and I always want it to stay that way. If I get to this point, you're going to get a picture saying, here you go, man, here's, here's your holster so far, or here you go, here's your holster so far, or, you know, even if it's at that point or, or that point, they're always going to get an update. And as I get bigger, I'm going to assign reps to each person. I don't want to give out too many of my secrets, but... <laughs> oh, I don't blame you. I don't blame But as, as I get bigger, I want each, each individual holster builder to be assigned to someone as they come in. And then that way they can have their own people to, to walk them through the steps because a lot of people want updates or, you know, they want to be involved and they want to be a part of something. So that's, you know, that's their feel, it's how we make them feel important. And say, well, that's hey, good this feedback because right. nobody, nobody's doing that. Yeah. Uh, at least from what I've seen on the, the out there with the custom holsters and stuff like that, there's not a whole lot of, hey, here's where I'm at with it, here's what's going on. You know, I want to take care of you. This is where I'm, I'm at with this. Or, and uh, you're updating people about the problem. So we'll have Big Lou here cut the camera in just a second. And then we'll have some up close. And we'll get some pictures of yeah. that for sure. Thanks.
Yeah, here's an up close of a few things. Um, Rinky Dink knife, I've been working on perfecting those. Uh, you can see that nice shiny edge right there. Um, and that's actually a pretty good, that, that is a process to the, with Kydex because as you're sanding it, you're getting burrs and stuff like that, right? Yeah, I go through a pretty, actually pretty lengthy process. Some people don't like using a Dremel or say you can't get smooth lines, but I do a few things that a lot of people don't like to do to take the time. And this is part of the custom customization of things. I'll, I'll round off and do a few things, but then I always buff it out with that or the sisal wheel or some of the other buffing things I have in here. And then I'll also um, do a wet sand with it. So nice. you get, and then I'll, I'll use the uh, buffer. Um, well, that, that speaks quality in itself that the customer is actually getting some good custom quality work that uh, a lot of the bigger stuff like Raven and Bravo they're just punching them out I'm not trying to bag on them and have a whole yeah. bag session here because I try to speak positive of everybody on things but this is something that custom people can only do versus yeah. you know pushing things out the only t other way to go with precision is going with injection molded but that takes time mm -hmm. to even get that holster that's a good point because you know what when you come to custom stuff and a lot of reasons why people like me you know I, a lot of the custom guys they have three or four things which i do too three or four holsters that they all work off of but i i tell everybody here's here's the style that you can choose from but tell me what you want different you know to you know do you want cut out a little bit more added on um, you know, here's one that I messed up on that uh, didn't get shipped out. So I, I take really, I mean, that's that's a lot of work to get that far. And I was heating it up to uh, fix a few things. And as you can see, it's really shiny, got some ding. So that baby's going to get given to somebody or just be there for a, re a good reminder. But, you know, we've got there you a, go, or a, a giveaway maybe or something. Yeah, a giveaway, <laughs> giveaway. Uh, I've done a couple giveaways. So far, I've done uh, nice Glock 19 or 26 giveaway, and then a, a couple PMAG giveaways, just single PMAG, which I've got one coming up a giveaway. Nice. Anyway, there's the carbon fiber uh, 1911. Again, I like to have the you know follow the curvature of the gun, so when it sits in there, it matches up perfectly. You nice. know, when you look at it when it's off, it's kind of kind of funky but once you realize what it does it looks I think it looks pretty good but um, I like the carbon fiber myself I'm probably more of a coyote tan guy but I know that carbon fiber is actually pretty cool looking yeah I am definitely a, a coyote tan guy a lot of people order this it's been crazy which is and I tell I make sure and let everybody know this is a Holstex products okay. product uh, which is a little bit different than Kydex Okay. Um, so Kydex is, as you know, is durable, which Holstex is too, and Kydex has a UL rating, which it doesn't sustain a flame. So, um, plus you can run over these things, and this is pretty close to the same thing. I mean, if not the same thing. But here's my uh, my hybrid Stealth LTH. Nice. Um, I actually had it named. Exactly like somebody else, and uh, I didn't know it was trademark, trademark, so I had to change the name. Uh, um, so it's, you know, just learning curve. P oh, yeah. mags. Uh, I'm doing a, a double 1911 holster for somebody here soon to match this stuff right here. Sweet, sweet. Yeah, very good. Uh, another thing we've been working on here is some custom drop leg. Uh, setups where you could have some mags interchange it, but uh, it's kind of along the same lines of, of the the, the Costa um, drop leg, but his is all fabric. I want mine to be hopefully a little bit more durable, where you can interchange holsters and mags with the gun in the middle, or however you want to ar ar arrange it, and then you know you can easy strap them on, strap, them, take them off and on, interchange them with the webbing. Same with, uh, same with here. You know, you can, you can mount your, you can mount your uh, tactical axe on here, however you want. And that's a zombie tactical axe, yeah. correct? Okay. Oh yeah. All right, sweet. Yeah. The, 
zombie killer, the M48, correct? Yeah, the M48 Ranger. It's a cheapie, but I just want hey, something to work It doesn't matter. With. Yeah. It kills zombies just like everybody else. Yep. Um, along with that, you know, there's some different color options you can do with that. You got the Coyote tan, the multi cam that you can do patterns in and stuff like that mm -hmm. with your Kydex holster. Yeah. There's some foliage. There's some gray. Uh, let's gunmetal gray, red. I mean, you can put bright red or orange on there. I don't care. You know, however you however you want it. But however you want to rock your custom pistol <laughs> yeah. holster. Yeah. This is uh, what I'm all about. Just make, doing some custom stuff. This is this is what I have the most fun doing. Is so challenge me. You Perfect. Know? So, well, Calvin, yeah. thank you for letting us come by your shop. Thanks for letting us know a little bit more about what goes into making your, your custom holsters. And uh, we look forward to seeing you more on the Glock Brothers as well as some of the, the other places, hopefully maybe the network or something. Yeah, thank you guys for coming out. All right, peace.